This poem is called Thirst, and the first two lines are actually taken from C.S. Lewis from his book, The Great Divorce. And uh, again, it portray it's, it's one of his analogies, again, one of his thoughts, and I take this analogy and then I run with it, and I run with it in whatever direction I possibly can, not necessarily where he would have taken it, but I think it inter interplays with it so that uh, you get at the possibilities. So, Thirst was made for water, inquiry for truth. Raindrops were made for roots, roots were made for soil, soil for life, life for glory. Raindrops were made for glory, listen, roof drumming, eaves dripping, look, Glisten, sunlight catching, luminous liquid, inexpressible proof of something spoken by growling skies. Skies were made for glory. Wings were made for skies. Feathers for wings, among other things, such as sheltering and beauty, but mostly for the glory of soaring. Water was made for skies and rain, for trickle, for gurgle, for rivulet, stream, creek, and river, for puddle, pond, lake, and ocean, for sip, for swallow, for swim and sail, submerge and drown, for hiding, inquiry, and eventual discovery, a sparkling glass of truth. <laughs>